Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Okay, Mr. Okay. Speaker, yesterday at Public Safety Com Committee, I asked Toronto's Deputy Chief of Police if the Liberals' plan to spend a billion taxpayer dollars on a firearms buyback would have any effect on improving public safety. His answer, which has been echoed by law enforcement across this country, is that gun buybacks don't work. My question to the Prime Minister, why is he ignoring law enforcement experts? Why won't he scrap this ineffective, wasteful and ideological scheme? Yeah. Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Crystal clear right now. The Conservative Party of Canada is asking us to bring back, to re-legalize assault weapons. That was something that was debated during the election campaign that they are trying hard to forget. Uh, we banned... I want to remind... Order. Order. I want to remind the honourable members to watch their language. Okay, um, I'm going to have to ask the honourable. I'm going to have the honourable. I'm going to have to ask the honourable member to stand and apologize or withdraw. Mr. Speaker, I will say. I'm not asking for a long diatribe. I'm asking for an apology. I won't give you one. I apologize for saying that he lied. But in 1977, the term... No, no, it's rifles. over. That's it. No, please sit down. Apologize. apologize. That's all we need. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, please continue. And let, let's give the Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland the opportunity to hear his answer. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, last year... We banned 1,500 different models of assault-style weapons in this country. The Conservative government, the Conservative Party, is proposing to reverse that ban. They don't think it'll keep Canadians safe. Well, we had an election including on that, Mr. Speaker, and they were soundly rejected in that argument. Canadians want to see their communities safer. That's why we are for strengthening government.